Hi everyone, my name is Akhisa Shuna, and today we're going to learn about the scikit-learn train test split. So, uh, train test split is uh, one of the functions that you can find in scikit-learn. Uh, it's uh, it, within the model selection model, and uh, it's used to create training and testing data. And why you want to create testing data is because you want to be able to measure your machine learning model's performance. So instead of training on all your data, you keep one subset of the data in order to uh, be able to identify uh, what went well or wrong. And how train test splits works is essentially you create a training set and a test set and then you train your model only on the training set and then you make a prediction and then you look at your accuracy afterwards uh, in order you compare it to your test set in order to calculate the accuracy so if you want to get started with train test split uh, you first need to install scikit-learn library uh, i have a small data set that i'm loading from scikit-learn which is the low the breast cancer data set in order to showcase how train test train test splits works. So in order to use train test split, you uh, follow those steps. So essentially you split a data set into a training and test set, and then you will provide the test size that you wanna have based on the population that you have. After that, you train your model and then you make a prediction. Once you have your prediction, you can compute uh, the accuracy using some metrics uh, like accuracy or accuracy score in order to know whether your model is doing fine on the unseen data. So let me show you how the data set would look like into a data frame. Essentially, you have all your features here and right down the end, you have your prediction, the target. Um, and what we are going to do is we are going to split that data set into a training set and a testing set using the scikit-learn library. So the first thing that you want to know is that scikit-learn requires you to have um, data type, which is an array. Uh, in this case, so we are showing here that you have a, an array, and in in order to be able to do this, you're gonna need uh, to have two arrays, one for the test the um, the features and one for the target. And you want to make sure that the length of your features and the length of your target are of the same array. And your target is one dimensional array, whereas the features are two dimensional. So the first step to use train test split is actually to import the module. So you import, uh, no, sorry, from selection. you import train test split. So you can run this. Uh, and once you, what you want to do when you, uh, you run the data, if you want to split your data, you will uh, have four unpacked value for your uh, train test split method. So essentially you do x train, x test. So by convention, we use x as a titled case and y as a lower case. And then you do train, y test. And then you do train test split. And what you need is you need to pass your first array and your uh, target array. And you need to define your test size. Here I'm going to use 0 0.3. And then you can specify random state. Random state will be used to be able to reproduce your results. So it will give the pseudo random number generator uh, in order to be able to reproduce this. So those are the, the, the main way to run train to split. And what this does is essentially it splits into your training test. It splits the X uh, array into a training test, training and testing array. So X train, X test, 
and then you have your features into a training and testing array too. Uh, if you looked at the shape, then you will see that your shape for X train and Y train is the same, and your shape for X test and Y test is the same, and it essentially represents a third of what you have in your training data set because we have defined the testing size to 0.3. How do you choose your test size? So the best option in order to choose a test size would be to do some cross validation, but most of the time uh, we use, uh, as a rule of thumb, if you have a large data set that you can spare plenty of training data, then as a rule of thumb, you would do a 70-30 or 80-20 split on your test uh, training testing ratio. If you have limited data and you need to keep a larger amount of your data assigning it to the training set, then you probably want to look into a 90-10 split. Otherwise, as I mentioned, you do some cross-validation in order to define it. One last thing I want to tell you about training test split is to use stratify sampling. Uh, why you use Stratify is in your data set, sometimes what you try to predict uh, does not have the same volume. So for example, with the breast cancer data set, there are two uh, outcomes that we want to predict. Either it's malignant or benign. Uh, but when you split that data into training and testing set, uh, sometimes one of the outcomes might happier more often than the other. For example, it might be more uh, malignant than benign. And in that case, you have something that we call class imbalance. So you can use classific stratification in order to make sure that the outcome that appears more often is being represented uh, more often in your testing set. So this can help improve the model accuracy and performance. So for example, if I look at my original data frame target, and I can show you that if you do value counts, you will figure out that you have more often the class one than the class two, and you want that to be represented. So what you can do in order to stratify your data, you can do X train again, X test, Y train, Y test, equal train, test, split. And then you do X, Y, your two arrays. You do set up your test size as what we just mentioned. You can set up your random state equal 42 for reproduction reproducibility and then you can set up the stratify parameter to equal y so in that way that's how you're gonna that's how you're gonna stratify and then you have your testing and training set uh, that you can uh, potentially use uh, to train your data um and so that's it that's how you use it there are other parameters here that you can use uh if you want to go further you can go ahead and start training your data set uh and the way to do um the, the way to train your data set here we could use a classification for example and to do so what we will do is um take one of the library, which is scikit-learn neighbor. So we can do a neighbor classification. So you use from scikit-learn neighbors, and then you set up your KNN equal K neighbor classifiers with N neighbors. I'm not going into how exactly this uh, works, uh, we have separate tutorials for how uh, classification algorithms work, uh, X train, Y train. So that's how you pass your training data set. So right now we're fitting the data, the model with the training data set, and then we try to make the prediction. Can then predict X test. 
So then we try to make the prediction on the testing data, and then we can run this. And in order to know if it works well, you can compute a score by doing knn.score and x test, y test. And then you run this, and you can compute your accuracy score and see here what you have. So that's how you use train test splits in order to fit a model and compute the accuracy of it. Uh, I have other parameters that you can be used. Here are the deficient mission. And if you want to learn more, make sure you subscribe to this channel and look at one of uh, my profiles in order to learn more about what I do. Uh, thank you very much. See you next time.